tablets are bigger than ever here at CES, and we're just launching a new app for the iPad, which is unique. Uh, we have done apps for the BlackBerry, for the iPhone, for Android, for Palm Pre, if you remember that. We've done apps for everything. I think one of the reasons why tablets is taking off here at CES is because you need the real estate to show off some of the material in these apps. For instance, in the Fandango app for the iPad, we have this feature called the Pulse, where you've got little movie posters coming down. It's almost like that old game Tetris, where all the, uh, the Tetrons, or whatever you call it, are coming down to form that wall. So here you've got all these movie posters coming down, and you can see, oh, True Grid is doing well, Black Swan is doing well, I see a few ticket sales for Little Fockers, but where's Gulliver's Travels? So you can see that we're not selling any tickets right now for Gulliver's Travels, and for good reason. It's not worth seeing. So it's one of those apps that you could only do on the iPad, because with that kind of visual representation of ticket sales, you need larger real estate. You need the multi-touch, high-definition screen that the iPad provides. And I think that we're not alone. There are a lot of different developers out there that, you know, weather on your iPhone is great. Uh, showtimes for movies are great on the iPhone. But if you're trying to give a little bit more information for browsing, it's probably more ideal to have an iPad or some other kind of tablet. We're finding that more and more people are making transactions on their cell phones that people are comfortable with it. In the same way as in the early days of the web, people weren't sure about e-commerce. People weren't sure about mobile commerce at first. Now they're much more comfortable with buying tickets on your mobile device. And it makes sense, because if you're having dinner with a date and you're deciding, do I want to see True Grit, you can quickly press the Go Now feature on the Fandango app, and you find out the nearest theater, the nearest showtime, what's starting within the next 10 or 15 minutes, is it sold out or not, buy the ticket and you're in. And it really helps, especially if you're in a crowded city like New York or San Francisco, where you don't have a lot of screens and it's sold out every single weekend. So you want to get the tickets in advance so you don't have to wait in the box office line. And we found that uh, for movies like Inception, the Christopher Nolan film, which we hope will get a Best Picture nomination at the Oscars, um, and Avatar last year, the 10% of ticket sales on Fandango on the opening weekend were sold through mobile devices. One of the things that's most exciting that I think you're going to see a lot more development of in the future is a mobile ticket that basically if you want to have your ticket sent to your cell phone, Fandango can text it to you. You open the text and there's a little mobile barcode on your phone and all you have to do is you walk to the theater, to the ticket taker, and he scans your phone and you're in. And that's beautiful because I'm one of those guys where, you know, I might remember to print at home my ticket before I leave, but I might forget my ticket. But you never forget your cell phone. It's always with you at all times. So just the fact that you've got the ticket on the phone and you can skip all the other lines I think that's a beautiful thing. We have it at 100 screens across the country at two exhibitors already. We're working on our third exhibitor now, so I'm hoping in the future you'll see a lot more screens using the mobile ticket redemption. So you basically just scan your phone, get into the movies, and it makes it a lot easier.